everyone. I hope I'm live. I hope I'm live. Okay, I think I am. I'm on my phone. How are you all? And if you're new to the channel, I think there is a few people that's new to the channel that's messaged. Um, welcome. This is a live chat, a live stream. If you're not watching this live and you're watching the playback, you can open up the chat and follow along. And hi. <laughs> hi, everyone. Can you hear me all okay? And is the screen okay for you? Welcome, happy Saturday everyone. Hi, it's so nice to see everyone. Okay, so if, as I said, I've got a good few new subbies that I'm so grateful for in the time that I've been away. So, this is live streams. I mostly do live streams. I do do videos, but I do live streams. So, if you are watching this on playback, you can open the chats. There's lots of people in the chat and you can sort of follow along with what I'm saying and who I'm talking to. I do colouring, obviously, as you know, but I do the both. I try to do the both. <laughs> okay, who have we got? Hey, Kenny, Joey, Dorothy, Tanya, Star, Bridget, Kimmy, Darlene, <laughs> Bo, Shell, um, Barbara, Shannon, hey. Hi everyone, Barbara, Kimmy, Sue, <laughs> there's so many of you. Hi, welcome, I hope you've all been okay and I hope you've had a happy new year. I did see the new year in with you and that was my last dream. So I hope January's been good to you. Unfortunately, it's been good and bad for me. I lost um, Tilly on the 10th of January, which honestly broke me. And then yesterday, I can't talk about it. And then yesterday, <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I have to give myself a minute. I didn't expect to cry. And then yesterday, I saw a baby <laughs> being born. So I've gone from like really sad to really happy. So it's like two ends of the spectrum. Um, so yeah. I don't cry on strings, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, I lost her, I lost my little best friend. But I saw a baby being born yesterday, which was an absolute miracle. And I, um, I was there for the entire thing. I saw the, you know, I saw her come into the world. I got to cut her cord. I got to um, give her a first bottle, cuddles. It was amazing. So I've gone from being so down in the dumps to being so happy. <laughs> and it was like, oh my gosh, how can you go? It was so unexpected as well. Like I, I, I went out yesterday not even thinking that I was going to, you know, help a baby come into the world, and then I, there I was, so it was just, yeah, it was an amazing experience, um, so they do say that, uh, you know, someone going and someone passing brings a new life into the world, and I, I literally went from that, I went from having, you know, Tilly going, who I've had for eight years, and it might seem silly to some, but she was my best, best friend, um, to having a baby in my arms, being, fresh out of you know mummy and oh my gosh it's like I do not know whether to laugh cry smile you, do you know what I mean it's just like oh so anyway it was a miracle oh dear anyway we're gonna get on with it so how are you all <laughs> I'm so sorry <laughs> yes the baby is called Lola oh, hi Vicky oh my gosh it was and I've got to do it all again next week <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do her sister. I'm her sister who Vicky, Sharon, mum number two, um, I'm Vicky's birthing partner. So I'm going to do it again next week. So I get two. <laughs> it's like, oh, you couldn't write this if you tried, you know? So yeah, that was, um, that was my day. That's been my, my week. <laughs> Is it all okay on your screen? Yeah, I've got two. And hi, I'm so sorry. Okay, I've got my wobbly moment. I cannot talk about her. So thank you so much for everyone that has sent messages regarding Tilly. Um, honestly, they're heartfelt, but I'm still not able to talk about her just because it really does, like, it's just too much at the moment. 
Um, I will be soon. I'll be able to, you know, talk about her and I won't cry and break down. But not yet. <laughs> I hear you, Pat. Um, but yeah, I'm okay. I promise you. I promise you. That's why I was so, like, wobbly on coming back at the moment. But I thought, no, let's do it. And I do, as I said, I feel ridiculous. I do not cry on my streams. Yeah, so. Anyway, we are back with this. We are using Black Widows. I am on my mobile phone. Um, <laughs> so, I really am going to try my hardest. And we're going to do this. Now, I will do the colour cards for people. Because I've got quite a few people who want to follow along. Um, so, I do the colour cards. Now, I am using all Black Widows at the moment. And we've done a mixture, didn't we? We looked at the um, colour chart. Ah, oh, thank you. I'm here for you guys too. Like, just because I'm going through my own nonsense, you know, it's not nonsense, but I'm going through my own stuff. I, you know, you can message anytime. I know I have been really bad with my emails and messages recently, but it's just because I haven't checked. Um, but I'll get back. I'll get back there. Oh, thank you. I just did them myself because my nails, I'm not, I don't bite my nails, but where I was so stressed out with Tilly, I bit them. Um, so I had to stick something on just so they're not, you know, bad. Um, but yeah, I'm so glad Raggy's doing well as well, Connie, because Connie had Connie CV in chat. Um, if you didn't know, Connie lost one of her little ones last year and Raggy, her other cat, was not well, but I think he's doing better. And Nana, Nana's little baby, um, I think you've got a spaniel, haven't you, Nana? Uh, has not been well, so lots of love um, to your little ones. And I know it's hard when they're not well, you know, for those of you that aren't pet people, you know, I totally understand that it's not your thing. But for those of us that are, they are literally our children. They're like a child to us, you know. So, big hugs and... Oh, Lozzie, no, you lost your one. I'm big hug, sweet. Everyone that, you know, needs them, I'll give them. Of course, of course. And, you know, that's... This is the thing, you know, you're amongst friends here. I do live streams because I've got... Someone mentioned last week, you know, live streams are not for me. I just like people to get into it, and that's fine. But the live streams are also a comfort and a place for people to come to where they can talk about these kinds of things. And you are amongst friends, so never feel that you can't talk about things, guys. Just, you know, I know we do all the colouring and good stuff, but you can talk about stuff as well. Hey. Oh, Oregon, Ohio. you got a snowy morning. Yeah. Um, Andrew went to Ohio in February a few years back and it's it was snowing then as well. I know you get quite a heavy snowfall, but um, have a nice easy day. Okay, so what I was predominantly using on the last one was these tones. Um, and these are from the Black Widow Dark Tones. Now, if you have a look towards our lion, you can see a lot of these colours are actually going to match. But also from the light one, we took some carrot. And I'm pretty sure I put some eggshell and some rust in there as well. So, believe it or not, the skin tones are really good for fur. I also took, I think, from the Scorpio... Uh, one minute, I'm going to backtrack on myself. Hold on. Yeah, I think from the Scorpions, I got um, Dark Chocolate out. And I'm pretty sure from the actual Black Widows, I took another tone out. But I'll have to find it. But we're going to have a little go, you know, of what we what we can get done and achieve today. Hey, Azili. <laughs> Amanda, where am I from? I'm from London. Oh, thanks, Lizzie. Okay, okay, our wobbly's over, I promise. Oh, I feel so much better. But yeah, I, I what an experience I had yesterday. I've never seen a baby being born and I've not had my own children, but yeah, poor Andrew now, I'm on a mission. Okie dokie. So, skin tones. They're in here somewhere. So, I think I've bunched mine together. Um, so, I will put these in the screen. Um, I'll see how I get on today. I'm going to try and finish, if not get near to finishing this line. And then we got the gal. So, because it takes up the entire screen, um, we're pretty good. Because we won't have much background to play around with. And we will mostly have... The two features on there, which is the person and the the lady and the lion, lady and the lion. 
Hi, you Taurus. Hey, I'm a Taurus. <laughs> I'm going to call you Taurus just because I'm a Taurus. But if you wanted to call me by your name, let me know. Hi, welcome. I haven't seen you here before. So if you are new, as I said, feel free. This is a really friendly group of people. A lot of people have known others, you know, for a long time, but don't let that, you know, put you off. You're more than welcome. You make friends and chat and you know take some tips if that's what you've come for i don't i do take a while i do talk my way through things and um i'm not exactly the fastest colorist in the world but that's because i demonstrate in real time if i was to do this and speed this up then of course it would be a total total different kettle of fish um, but I think it's nice to do this because if you did try to do this as well, you wouldn't necessarily have to watch these back. You could just have a little sift through and think, okay, I've watched that be done. I'm pretty sure I can go and do this on my own kind of thing. You know where I'm coming from. Okay. Right. So the ones that I've pulled for now is Leather Suede. I have taken Carrot because I quite like that colour. Rust, Choco Tone, Olive Brown, Mud, Negra and Cinnamon. I do need Dark Tan. However, I'm not going to use all of these. Uh, but these are colours that I've got there if I need to use them. I want to, no, I don't, do I need Dark Chocolate? And it's good to just kind of have a little, you know, play around with colours anyway. And I got um, from the Scorpions, Dark Tan and Dark Chocolate. Now, if you are also new and you've got some questions, pop them in caps. Are you mainly Taurus? I think I'm a Taurus. I'm a bull in a china shop, so I'd say so. <laughs> I don't know too much about astrology, but everyone tells me who is into astrology that I am very much a Taurus. Okay. There we go. As long as you're nice and zoomed in, I'm going to put the colour cards there. I'm going to just clamp these down a little bit so that we don't have them flipping up or moving around and keeping nice and flat for us. I really am. Like, mum will tell you. If there's something to knock over, that's, I probably will do it. And, um, yeah, you couldn't go take me into a china shop. I would, I would be a clums. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. All the links, Vicky's put it in there, but all the links are in the description for the products and for the book. I'm not sure if they're back in stock. I hope they are. They were out of stock, um, but I know Grazie was on it. Okay, so when I was looking at the lion, so just if we're looking at the sort of portfolio of a lion, this part was the lightest on um, with quite a lot of white, but we're going to leave the white till last because we have to put colour down first. And then it went into like a, a, still a light, but bringing in some color. And we're going to head up to a darker, deeper tone. And also into the hair, there's going to be lots of strands of different colors that will all sort of muddle together. Oh, you're going to have to explain all this to us one day, um, Taurus, because it sounds so interesting i've always liked i've got the chinese horoscopes right I, I wasn't sure if i was going to do it but vicky's agreed uh to join me and on the 20 i think it's next next saturday let me check uh, hi Bo. i'm so glad you met laura so Bo is coloring park she met laura laura colors too and they had a really nice day out with their husbands um, oh yeah, 25th is Chinese New Year for anyone that wasn't aware. So, I wasn't sure because I planned this before Tilly died, but then I'll, you know, you know how it goes, your feelings are all over the place. Um, and I was colouring and I still am and I'm nearly finished it to give away next Saturday. Now Vicky's going to join me um, and I've been colouring this so that I can give this away with a little something inside. I don't know if that's gonna pick it up without without blurring. Um, but this is to give away. Now I've been coloring this. Now it's had Tilly's input for three quarters of it. She sat on my shoulder uh, whilst I was doing this. So Tilly's and my own efforts been put into this. Now, it is Chinese New Year next Saturday. And 
Vicky is going to join me and I think she's going to do one as well. So if you join me and you want to come along and celebrate Chinese New Year, um, it's the year of the rats, I believe. And I've just got to do the background, which is going to be dark to make everything pop. And we can celebrate that and I will be giving that away. I'll put up the details either today or tomorrow. Uh, yeah, and Vicky's going to give away a picture too. So I said, you know, we're not doing an event. If anyone wants to join me, let me know and we can make an event of it on Saturday. Any streamers, let us know. But I just thought, why not? Why not? <laughs> so if anyone else fancies it, let me know. Hiya, Michelle. You can even do it the day before and ring it in. I know some of you do that. Hi, Louise. Yeah, I am. I have to get back into it. Um, hi, Joanne. But I am having my procedure on t this Tuesday. So, fingers crossed that I'm not sore. <laughs> but I'll make it happen. I've got a ton of painkillers. <laughs> hi, everyone. Hey, Christina. As I said, if anyone has contacted me this past week, I apologise. I've been rubbish. I have not been on this earth. I've been so... <laughs> So we're gonna go for Negra and I'm gonna I'm gonna make a point of going through everything tomorrow. <laughs> Hi Louise! <laughs> oh gosh. I think I've got I can't even tell you, I'm ashamed to say it. I've probably got backlog about 30 people cooking back to. I'm so sorry. I've just really not been with it. I'll be better on that. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'll be fine. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go for Negra. Can you see? Do you want me to zoom in a little bit? We're going to zoom in a little bit. Otherwise, you're a bit too far. Okay, so I'm coming up to uh, this area. Is it all in your screens, everybody? It does. And that's the thing. That's why I said this is as well where we're, you know, advocating that it's not intended for children, Amanda, because... We talk about adult issues and, you know, the odd swear word, come on, we're adults, we're not, we're not robots. Um, and, you know, things come out. Hey, Lee! One minute, so sorry. Oh, trust it to happen when I'm on stream. One second. Oh, oh. Hello? I do, I'm going to come down to you. One second. <laughs> your job you be proud of yourself okay i'm back i'm so sorry it was not a delivery <laughs> oh my gosh i'm back i'm back i'm back um yeah so where was i we're gonna go in with a darker color and as i was saying um you know these streams they do serve a purpose and i'm in the league of i like sped up videos i like videos that get on with it i like live streams i like everything and different channels are different purposes so if this kind of channel provides something for you and it gives you a safe place then that's amazing okay so when i'm doing fur i'm building up it takes me some time and i think if you're going to do it as well <coughs> hey Laura oh my gosh <laughs> I'm so sorry I ran up and down the stairs which is no good for me well it's good for my my cardio <laughs> it's not good for my back um so 
I just build up and it does take time, but you'll see the result in your coloring and you'll see the result at the end. And you know, sometimes people are just like, no, no, I can't, I can't do this part. This takes too long. I'm too impatient. I just want to get to the point. Markers might be a good idea if you're that way and you're not really a pencil person. But I think if you want to take the time to learn the technique, um, you know, a slow process is not going to, I think it's quite a nice thing to do because you learn a lot as well. And you seem, I, to me, it's taught me a lot of patience in it. It's kind of just gave me something where I can just watch a build up. And I can tell you that Chinese picture that I'm doing, I've taken my time um, because I did it through bits when Tilly wasn't good, when she was sat on my shoulder, when she was biting, when she was bleeding, you know, when the day before her operation that unfortunately, you know, she didn't make it through. Um, you know, I sat for hours with that one or laid on the floor or sat by Tilly or I had it in different rooms with me. And I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And I've actually taken my, I've taken the thing to myself to say, you know, don't rush. Because I was finding myself rushing a little bit. And I like the result more when I don't. Oh, Flossie. <laughs> hey, Gary. I do, Dee Dee, I do. I think pencils are just my avenue. I love everything. I do love the markers. Um, but I think my avenue is always going to go on my go-to is always going to be pencils. I just like the result. I like the texture look. I think they're just a really nice media to be able to chill with and learn with. And I think once you've got the hang of pencils, you'll find that you're applying that to other things. Like when I started then venturing into watercolour, it's not that unlike with the colours. And mix in and you've kind of got a thing to say well I know this color goes with that and you've got that kind of implanted now so you know it really does make a difference I'm going in on um, flossy I'm going in on Tuesday to be numbed <laughs> okay but I'm okay I'm all right thank you I hope you all are Okay, so I'm just going to build up a bit. Now with this area, I am going to bring in a deeper colour, but I'm going to build it up. I'm not going to just go in straight away. I'm just going with what I've already done. Now, this has got to be like a deeper sort of rusty colour I'm going to go down with first. I'm just going to lay this one down. I'm not going to like stroke it in. It's going to go straight on down there. Copic shell, what about Copics? Or I'm trying to think of some other things. Um hi Jen. This <laughs> is Jen. Of oh, Jen, bless her heart. I can't even show it because I'm on my phone. But if you go onto my Instagram, I showed what Jen did. She did the most amazing picture and it made me cry. Um, like I did at the beginning of the stream. I just can't I can't deal with it at the moment. Like it's just like a block. If I think about it, I cry so I don't. Um, you know, it's uh, just amazing. Thank you, Jen. I love it. I love you. You know how much I appreciated it. It's just incredible. I need a thingy, thingy, thingy. There we are. Um, but yeah, it's so good to see everyone. As I said, I will be here next Saturday. As long as I'm not back at the hospital, because I've got to be birthing partner again. <laughs> Um, so I'm just hoping that I told I told the baby I was like I was at her bump yesterday saying because their sisters one sister gave birth yesterday the other sister is due on next week and I told her baby girl and I you know the one that's still got to arrive come on Sunday Sunday's a good day and then I can say that I have been there for two births in one week of two sisters that are cousins. I said that, you know, you have to arrive on Sunday. So I'm waiting for a call tomorrow to see if I was right. And she listened to me that she's going to arrive tomorrow. That would be perfect. I said, don't arrive on Tuesday. I'm in hospital. I can't be there. <laughs> don't arrive Tuesday, whatever you do. Don't arrive on the 21st. <laughs> you know, you've got these things and yeah, you're talking to a bump like a crazy woman, but you know, she might recognize my voice. 
Okay, so I'm just laying down some colour before I do anything else. Hiya, Pickle. Of course you can. You can post that link. Hi, Anna. It's so, oh my gosh, it's so nice to see everybody that I've usually, you know, usually the usual faces that I see. It's good to see everyone that isn't here as well because they watch back and they comment. Um, so it'd be nice to see you too. <laughs> So those of you that are lurking as well, you know, welcome, hello, happy Saturday, I was going to say Tuesday, I'm so used to being on Tuesday, and um, I hope that you've had a good New Year so far. And can you believe Jen's little boy had his birthday the other day, it was he five, four, five, four, five, what, how old is Emilio now? It just seems like he's grown up too quick. You know, Jen's, everyone knows Jen, everyone knows her pugs, bless them, that are now in heaven, and Snowy, and EJ. Hi, Megan. Hi, Emily. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's like so many people, their families, everyone's growing up too quick. That's why I was taking and drinking in every moment yesterday, because I know when I'll look next, she'll be like two. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's just a hiya, Jamie. <laughs> hiya, Robin. Oh my gosh, there's so many of you that I haven't said hello to. Please ignore me with, um, you know, not being able to see everyone's names, but big welcome. So I'm going to blank it. I'm just going to come out a second so you can see. So this is not going to be the lightest colour. We're just putting a base down to work with, and it's good to kind of just give myself something because I can, like, go on top without a white space underneath. Because when I start laying, like we do with the hair, we put a light coat down, and then we go in with our strands. This is going to be the same. I can't wait to do the eye. Um, so instead of having a nasty white space behind something, because I know white spaces scare me. They might scare you. They definitely scare me. And I find a white space more daunting than having something with colour on. So my motto is put colour on there first, build up, and then I'm more, I'm more comfortable. I don't know about you guys, are you the same? I like to have something that I look at, it's got colour, I build on it. It's like visually, I have to have a colour first. If I don't have that visual aspect to go on, I'm a little, oh my gosh, you know, what do I do? This automatically gives me, right, now I need to deepen that up. Are you the same? I'm really, yes, well wishes, bless him. He wasn't well, was he? I said I'm getting on a plane to play his Nintendo Switch. <laughs> oh, let's get him better. <clears throat> There's nothing worse than seeing them not well. Because, you know, they just need comfort and it's no fun for them. Okay, so again, already I've got something down. Are you the same? <laughs> so now I can deepen. So automatically I've got something that I can work on because I'm not going to feel as daunting. So I'm going to go with dark tan, which is not that much of a step up. But it's enough for me to go, right, let's bring something in. And now I've got to find it. Of course I have to find it. Because it wouldn't be me without losing it in front of me. Like it's got a pair of legs and it's gone walk about. Okay, so we've got, we don't need that one. Oh, is anyone else the same? Uh, it just goes walk about. It's gone walk about already. Is that dark tan? Yeah. Okay, let's get it sharpened. <laughs> oh. You got all snow where you guys are then. Everywhere in the US is it pretty snowy then. Okay, so dark tan now. Now, before I start layering up, I'm just going to plan where I want a deeper colour. So I'm going to come from here. And I'm just going to put in a little bit of depth because our darker colours are going to probably be our furry colour. Although this has got some texture already because of the papers being absolutely amazing. This paper is working really well with pencils, by the way. So I don't think anyone's going to have any issues with coloured pencil on this paper. It's a thick, just 
it's bright I think it's bright white yeah it's a thick it's like a luxury feel to me I'm loving it it's really gorgeous and I think if you're like me and you like to layer up you won't have an issue it's going on like butter except in Florida I think Florida is one of the sunniest states isn't it like California tell me where I'm wrong if I'm wrong I'm pretty sure I know Canada get a really bad case of snow in the winter. You have two seasons, right? You have summer or winter. <laughs> um, Shell, sweetheart, it's the uh, swordfish. It's a crank sharpener. It's inexpensive. Selena gifted this about two and a half years ago. It's amazing. And I've not had to change the blade on it at all. It just, it gives me sharp points. It never breaks my prismas. It's an incredible sharpener. Oh, I had to give in yesterday. Louise, of course you can ask. It is the um, Wild Soul by Grazia Salvo. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to show you something on Instagram very soon if what Grazia has done for me. I, I just can't. I, I, I can't handle things like that. I just It makes me bore my eyes out. But Laura and Grazia are the two most generous, incredible artists. In my opinion, with their, their hearts, it's just, uh, oh my God. Anyway, Grazia is an amazing person. I highly recommend this. It's one of my new top books. Yeah, it is so good. It is so good. So I had to give in because I was, I was running out of these three colours I've seen to go through like water. So I got myself a Tuscan red. I've got two pumpkin oranges and two chocolates. These are three of my most used colours, so if you want any colours that you ask me what are my go-tos, these seem to be, because I've gone through like five of these each, um, they just seem to be in every colour in that I do. So <laughs> I finally got them, I was like, oh, I had to. <laughs> okay, so I'm very lightly going, so sorry, I am sidetracking because I've not been here for a little while, so it's so nice to actually talk to people. Me too, Honor. You know, it's one of my colours, hun, that I just seem to die. Honestly, like I drink it. I don't know where it goes. I'm like, I just open that, like, as a new one. And it seems like in a month, it's halfway down. <laughs> and it's not over sharpened. It's just used. It's well, well loved. Well loved. Okay. So already I'm getting a deeper. I'm going to leave that for a second. And I'm just going to come again. I want cinnamon. And then we'll start to build up with um, dark chocolate, marge, choco tone, those types of colours and build on it. So at the moment, we've got a really nice colour coming in. And the next one that we need is cinnamon. Um, so it's like a, just a ready tone. And the reference picture that I particularly looked at has these colours coming in. So just lightly, you just have to hold your pencil away and just lightly apply this in so it's building up now without putting those base colors down this would look totally different it does mix the colors it changes it slightly it's not as dark and as deep because people say well does it cancel it out no you're mixing um it doesn't cancel it out because if you put the color down without the pre-existing ones down it'll be a totally different tone um it kind of changes the tone altogether so by doing it by the side as well with this paper, it gives it like a texture, which is good because that's what we want. No fur is flat. It's got texture and it helps us work with it. Work with the texture rather than against it. So just very lightly apply this and then we're going to build. So it's already going to a colour that I'm really liking. <laughs> I love cinnamon. <laughs> I love it. To, I love the smell of it. I love the taste of it. It's such a warming, and the, I love the color like of it. It's it's just a very warming, and it reminds me of like, I don't know, like autumn, and starting to settle down for the winter. With like, it's funny because I know Jen is the biggest reader here in terms of she reads so much in compare, you know, in comparison to me. I read a lot, but not near as much, and it's just it's got that. Right, get your books, start hauling in books, start hauling some like random colouring books, grab your pencils, rearrange your cart and like have that 
scent around you as well. Is anyone else the same or is it just weird? <laughs> oh, Amanda, bless your heart. Thank you. Um, honestly, we're just like a bunch of women that are so alike, which is like, we're all from different walks of life, but we've all got this in common. And I think that's why I feel so comfortable. And I think that's pretty, why we all feel comfortable, isn't it? It's um, something that we can all sit and do, take tips from, chat. You know, you don't have to chat. I say that all the time for the lurkers. Don't feel you have to. You can just be there if you want to because some people are quite anxious to be in a group of people. It's not supposed to bring anxiety. It's supposed to help. So if you don't feel comfortable, just, just you know, you can sit back and relax. Um, as long as you're happy, as long as... This, I think this hobby is just amazing. Like for me, it really is. And I know how cheesy I, you know, I don't even care. Slap the more cheese on, it's fine. Um, it relaxes me. And I think it's very grounding. And it just, this time of year, just, yeah, just bring it on. Okay, so I'm just going in circular motions, bringing in some more color and it's gonna deepen up as we go along. Yeah, that's fine. That's, that's the good thing about it. Cheese, please. <laughs> Hi, Charlotte. <laughs> oh, Tanya, you didn't have to go doing that. Thank you so much. Honestly, guys, being here is enough. I thank you so very much. I'm an emotional wreck this week anyway. <laughs> As you could tell. Um, and if you go to my Instagram stories, you'll see why. On one of them thank you Tanya so much yeah let's give a thanks to Tanya Tanya that's so sweet that's gonna go towards um, a new camera it won't go to waste as I said I'm using my phone again the camera sound seems to have gone so thank you so very much Tanya um, I think that's two and a half two years old I'm not sure the webcam too Pea soup, that's all I remember. <laughs> okay, now we can build on with some um, some strokes. So we're gonna come to Choco Tone because Choco Tone is really nice. I love these colors so much. Um, there we go. Okay, so Choco Tone, by the, you wouldn't be able to tell by the lead and it's very, very, close in colour to the actual barrel so it's quite a hard one to see ah uh, thanks for coming pickle lots of love honey thank you Tanya. um so definitely do a swatch of these because they are quite hard to see even with the end i'm hoping the new ones have this as well because you know with the barrels they're always really hard to see because of this and you know the end i always say with the black widows even if you're not someone that swatches, try and swatch these because they're really hard to determine what colour they are. So it's really good to have a swatch. Thankfully, I've got the colour cards so I can see. Now we're going to start building up. So very, go with the direction of the fur. So if you've got some fur, I'll zoom you in a little bit. Okay, so we can see the fur. Don't go against it, in my opinion. You can do what you want. You know, you can have hairs going here, there and everywhere. Oh, Kimmy K, thank you, honey. Oh, time, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so very much. Um, so you can do in whichever direction. Just my advice is go with the direction of the fur. Um, so we're going to bring, I'm going to press a bit deeper. Don't be afraid to, you can put some nice deep strokes in. And then coming up to here, I'm just gonna add some sort of small wisps coming up into this area. Now, I don't wanna make that like horrible where you've got like a join. So just try and go through that. And I'm just gonna bring sort of little hairs and you won't see much of them. They're very small. You'll be able to see them in the eye. Um, I'm just gonna add a touch in. So I'm just sort of adding some depth because it's got more depth coming up. 
Now, if I have to zoom out again, here, there is really, you play with this part, because I'm going to put where I want my deep tones. So you've got all the hair going in swishy directions, literally. <laughs> and in their fur, you do have a lot going it will build up because you can go in after, but you can kind of just place where you want your deep tones. Now, as I said, you, it's your picture. You can do whatever direction, what? Oh, Cassandra, <laughs> I just looked up. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, everyone. Oh, bless your hearts, thank you. I will, I will promise you, I'll show you as soon as I get it. Bless you, thank you, Cassandra. We're a month behind, um, I'm not sure if you're aware, unless you've got a YouTube channel, you might be. We're a month behind, so we get last month, so I'll get nothing that month. I didn't stream or do anything, and I get two Ps per avenue. People think that you get money, you don't. Um, you can go and see anyone's income through Social Blade anyway, so you'll see. You know, I don't earn anything through this, it's not why I'm here. So your super chats really do go straight back into something that we need and because the camera broke i will buy that i promise i'll show you straight away yeah and i don't meet the threshold either laura because it's 60 pounds here i think i don't know what it is in the us i am nowhere near I'm like 20. so you know there are people that want to set channels up and they want a little bit of extra income um and that's fine that's not my intention but that's just to be aware that there are people that contact me quite often. I don't know if Laura gets it as well or Vicky. And they say they're looking to set a channel up and they really want an extra bit of income. And I, I'm honest. And I'll just say, unless you're at a really high subscriber count, like, oh, I don't know, into the hundred thousands or whatever, it's not going to get you an income. And there are months you shouldn't have that in mind if you're going to do that it should be something for fun if that is the thing you're going to have to really stand out from the crowd and have something else on the side i know there's other people that do you know patreon etc that is you know a different thing altogether but just be aware that we do have a month behind so i will get it next month um win the money and i will show you all i promise you that yeah <laughs> Okay, can you see the depth of this coming out? I love it. So with these tiny little bits here, we've got this lion. It's really hard to explain though, isn't it? <laughs> that is why it's not an avenue. <laughs> I don't think, um, you know, it's, it's honestly something I always say, you know, if you're going to do a YouTube channel, I get it all the time. I'm setting up a YouTube channel. Have you got any hints and tips? And I say, do it for the love of it. And then you are absolutely in there. <laughs> okay. So we got Choco Tone, which I'm just going to head into these colors and it's going to deepen it up. And then I'm going to bring like a more of a, a cat. I'm going to bring carrot into that part and make it a little bit more orange. Do the nose, do this, and then we've got the eye. And then I'm just going to finish off all that hair, and hopefully I'll get this done today. This will be like, oh, um, I'm trying to think how many parts this might take. It might take four, three. Um, the lady won't be as hard because I'm a, I'm a, you know, I'm a little bit quicker on people than I am on animals. Animals, as you know, was never my strong point, but I'm not scared of them anymore. Now... With this part, I don't know if you can see, there is a texture to the paper which is really working. So if you do have this in your, you're not gonna do this picture. Um, the texture of the paper is really adding to it for me. I'm loving it. So just go lightly, add it in. And just your random little strands is gonna make it. Susie, <laughs> hi everyone. Whereas Didi always likes, to, I love it when he says hiya. <laughs> it's so much fun. But 
that. Yeah, so really nice and gently, just layer it in. I don't know if you're going to pick that up, but Chip is snoring his head off. I'm going to take you off the stand at some point and go, go and say hello to him. Okay, so just nice and gentle. Just build it up. Can you see the depth starting? It's really lovely. I'm loving that. I don't know if you can see, oops, no, don't go, don't go walkabouts. It's going to be deeper up here. So what is everybody's plans for the weekend? Have you got anything nice? See that you need to rest. I hope you've not moved a muscle. Um, but those of you that are having this weekend and are snowed in. <laughs> can you hear him? Oh, thank you, unicorn. Yeah. You are too small. You're too small to snore. How are you, Danny? Yes, if you're a streamer, let everyone know when you're on. Feel free. And what you're doing, if you've got any projects that you want to share. Okay. I'm going to... Bring those in. Right, they kind of need to overlap. They're not straight uh, hairs. They're all over, you know, so you can be a little bit more loose. Okay. He's got these little tiny hairs. Now, we'll deepen that up after. We can't do that yet, but that needs black around the eye. So just building. Thing is, with small things, you don't notice them initially until you build up on them a little bit more. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Take care, Gary. I just love it. Like, I really do. I can't tell you how much. Um, it's just immeasurable. It's strange because if I hadn't... It's like, you know, bad situations have silver linings for some people. So, you know, some people found things through not particularly great circumstances, so it could be health, um, you know, anxiety or mental health or whatever it might be, you know, and if I hadn't had that time of not so good, I wouldn't have found this because it wouldn't have existed to me, although I did it when I, you know, distressed from work for a while. Um, it wasn't going to be something that I sat down with every single night because I had a, I just had a pack of like felt tips, water based markers, and I wouldn't have gone further than that. Trust me, it just you just wouldn't. So through there is a silver lining through everything. So how did you find colouring? Like what what made you fall in love with it? Everyone has that first book or first. Not regarding that, what was the point where you thought, yep. Yeah, I'm going to do this possibly for the rest of my life. It's going to be an avenue for me that I'll turn to. <laughs> we both did that at the same time. Yeah, he's just being silly, whoever he was. Now I know if you've got dresses. <laughs> oh my gosh, seriously. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to bring in carrot. And the carrot is really orange, as you can see. But working with other colours will tone it down. So I'm not... I know people might put... It's in the skin tones, and Laura is, you know, great with this, so she might know why the orange is in the skin tone. What skin tone would particularly use this? Because I've not found a purpose for it yet, unless I'm using it for pumpkins or fur. <laughs> so 
So I'm just going to add it in first. And I'm just going to kind of build up a little bit. And then as you can see, as I'm coming into the middle, I'm going to lessen that pressure, but I do want some of this colour in there. <laughs> yeah, Jenny is one of those. Ah. So Laura says she uses a carrot for undertones of the nose, ears, fingertips and auburn red hair. That's a good tip to know for us, those of us and me <laughs> that never found a purpose for the carrot in the skin tone. For me, it was like, great for Halloween. <laughs> I can colour everything like with pumpkin and sort of colours and have this in there and I always wondered how, you know, it would could sort of go hand in hand with skin tones. So now we know. And it's always good to ask, you know, if you've got any questions, ask away. Because honestly, I'm learning just as much as everybody else. So we usually have someone in chat that will know the answer. So ask away. <laughs> it is. It is. Yeah, everyone is Susie. And that's what I was saying earlier, it's such such a nice place to kind of just come chill out, even if you only want to come in and out, you know? It's not something you have to stay with. It's something you can like pop in and out at your own convenience and if you want to chat and then if you've got chores to do in between or feed the kids or you know, that's the good thing with live streams because they usually run for a little while so you can pop in, pop out, pop in, pop out. And I think, you know, being a lot of people who are mums and stuff and wives and husbands, etc. You know, you, so that's the beauty of that. I love live streams for that. I do it with Didi's all the time. Like, you know, I might have to go walk chip or Andrew's come home and I might have to go for a bit and then I come back and it's nice, it's comfortable. Okay, so I've got really nice colour going now. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring in some suede and take it down a little bit. Um, and it's not going to take the colour out, it will just, it will just take it down a little bit. Katrina, oh, one day I had nothing to do, ask myself what do I like, we'll start, that's what I'm saying, I used, oh nice. <laughs> What's the tip to keep those white spots that still appear on your paper, Amanda? Because some papers are quite toothy, is that what you're referring to? Okay, so I'm just going to take this really bright orange down a little bit and I'm going to start to bring in a few other colours. Now, I'm not going heavy handed. Might sound like it, but I'm not. Um, it's just because it's a sharp end. And I'm just going to add this in a little especially coming into this area here and down in the nose. And then we're gonna bring something else to sort of tone it down just a touch. I know Laura said before as well about taking like peachy tones down with greens, which it does work, it really does. But I want that tone, because that's what color my reference picture is. So as I'm coming into this middle, because we've got all that fur to work with soon with strands, so we've got to sort of strand up, I'm just going to go small circular motions and just sort of bring that all together so there's no separation and it all sort of goes together. Paper 2 is hard, sometimes you have to really sort of go straight into it. It can be quite a tackle. It depends what paper you're using, but I know quite a few people say, you know, they have to smash the colour in and it's... Um, layer up and if you're still finding it hard, maybe use a blender. You can burnish with a light, lighter tone on top of a darker tone. Um, like, you know, if you're doing a colour blend and you start with your lightest tone going to your darkest, you can come back to your lightest to try and get rid of it. It's just trial and error. There are some papers that you still will see the texture in the tooth. It is quite hard to get rid of. Um, but I do find that 
blenders in those situations usually work for me. That's when I will grab a blender. I don't use blenders that often, but when I do, they usually take out white spots in my papers pretty, pretty quick. Um, so you can give that a go. Okay, I really like that orange because that's got to come there as well. What I'm going to do now is bring in some Negra, which has got a red undertone. And very, very gently, I'm not taking this all the way, I'm just going to bring that here. And I'm, I've noticed as well lately that if I hold my pencil further away in my hand, it's a lighter approach on my pencil work. And I could do it with really, really small, like circular motions and just blend that into the colors that I'm trying to work with. Automatically it's worked. Thanks, Laura. It's funny because they bide their time and then they come back and it's like, oh dear, oh dear. Blimey. All right, so again, just a little amount. And then I'm gonna, now's the time that I can sort of bring, now I've got that base down, bring these really nice strands up. And kind of just. You can bring out the strands into the colour as well. Because you won't get rid of them, you can't cancel them out now. Whereas if you'd not done if you'd done it too early, you cancel out the colour. Okay, and just a nice light approach again. Make sure it's all blended nicely. If you're going too heavy handed, you're gonna have a lot of, you know, you can see like a separation in your blend. I think the lighter approach and the more time you take, it will really sort of work on how the final result looks. Chip, what are you saying little monster? Okay, I'm gonna to come to Olive Brown. Ah, oh, thank you. Hi, everyone coming on in. Missed the one. Hey, chip. Wait, 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 wait. Little dog syndrome, aren't you? That little dog syndrome. You gotta have, a, you gotta have a moan. I think Andrew's coming in. That's right. Okay, now olive brown. Listen for the noises. Oh, who's that? Who's that? Okay, so again. I'm just adding a little bit into those colors and I'm gonna work that down so it doesn't, it's gonna kind of fade into the nose. <sighs> is she? Little dogs, I'm telling you. They've got a little dog syndrome, haven't they? And they bark at everyone that goes past them as well. It's quite funny. So they see a window and if it's someone that walks past, the whole, everyone in the street will know. It's like, they have to tell them, like, who are you? <laughs> Hello. Hello. And yeah, someone comes near them, they back down. It's just from afar, they can tell everyone off or say hello. <laughs> it's quite funny, I love dogs, they make me laugh. He cracks me up every day. I look at him sometimes, I'm like, how are you so cute? Okay, so I'm just gonna bring some of that color down. Now again, I'm working on the base color because I really don't like that space being white. I'm just gonna bring some of this nice olive brown in there and we're gonna bring suede, I think an eggshell, just to sort of lighten it as we come down. So as I'm coming to this point here, I'm gonna really lighten my pressure. My most color is gonna be at the top and at the sides of the color here. So I can deepen that up because again, our darkest colors are gonna be our browns. 
So this is all my base that I've got to work with. So it's like a blend, a multi-tone blend. So we've got lots of like ochres and natural tones and browns and orange and like red auburn colours. And then it will go fade. This will be our lightest area. And then the eyes should stand out. This will all be really dark, like a black. And then, um, so we'll like all this fur around the nose and that part. It's all going to look really cool when it's done. So it's just a process to kind of build up. So can you see where the colour is going to be most sort of like stands out? <laughs> yeah, if only you could hear them, that would be good. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? He would sit there and he would bark at them all. He really would. He'd just be... You can't tell everyone off. Well, you can, but it's not working. Okay, now suede, we're gonna bring up into that olive brown. So you can see already, it's gonna blend really nice because those two colors where you've kind of lessened and come down and took the pressure off your pencil, you can kind of just blend those two and then we'll go to eggshell. It's like a, it is a multi-tone but it sort of just all flows like you've got an orange to sort of an ochre to more of an olive to more of this sort of really nice suede colour and then it'll go into eggshell I just really like the colour blend and then with you know as I said with this the good thing is you'll see all those individual little texture bits on the paper because it's really working with it which is amazing okay and then we've got eggshell which I have to find um I think it's in did I take it out no I didn't hi munchkin who's that is that your dad is that your dad you've been home when you're going back out I can't even see you because the lighting. Six. Six. You got an hour? Yeah, might have a shower. Okay. Okay, we're going to go to eggshell now. And this is more of a skin colour, I suppose, what you would look at as a skin colour. Um, but it's really nice to mix in. Laura said, hi, Andrew. Hi, everyone. Yeah, she said. That's why I said, because you can read it yourself. Chip. I'm being ambushed by a chip at the minute. Uh, everyone's saying hi, Andrew, now. So you just, yeah, blanket high. <laughs> yeah, and I shall return with blanket highs back. <laughs> You can't see the screen because Chip's cornered him. Chip has literally pounced on him because Dad's home, so it's now all about Chip. You know what dogs are like. It's that like Mum's on there. She's not giving me any attention. Um, Dad. <laughs> Hi, you, Mandy. How are you? Okay, back to suede, and then we'll just mix that back in with the eggshell. We've got all these like hairs. It's really hard to get in the crease. Um, I don't know if you can see, but we've got little hairs here that we have to build on as well, which I'm gonna bring the olive brown in. So just mix those two colors together. Okay, go back to um, eggshell. And just kind of blend them. It's a really nice blend. Oh. You might have to do it. See, I can't get the angle, but you can turn your page on this bit because it goes kind of into the spine a little bit. So just flatten it down because it's a hard back book. You might find it a bit more difficult, but you can get there. Just hold it whilst you colour it. I know. Right. This part is going to look amazing. I think we're going to go for the olive brown. 
Oh, thank you. I think it's coming along pretty good. I think I really like the colour choices so far. And I think these have been perfect for him. Okay, so I'm going to go for olive brown. Make sure it's super sharp. And I'll show you, like, the tone that it's going to go. Hold on. So, olive brown is this... Oh, it's just a beautiful colour. It is like a liquid gold, this one, I love it. And then just lightly bring, you've got all these little tiny hairs. They're so small. So you just kind of go with the flow. Now you're gonna blend out a little bit, but you can apply them at the moment and then we'll blend, like we'll get the little blend at the end like that and bring it out. But for now, just sort of very light, 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 light approach. You bet I'm barely touching the paper. Um, she's got these tiny little hairs and you they're not in one direction so you can kind of just play around with all these little bits like they're coming out here and they've got some going in that direction you've got some bits going there can you see they're all in like little tiny scraggly lines which is more realistic to fur especially little tiny furs like they're not straight they're kind of like here there go this way just kind of apply them for now so you don't lose them because we've got to bring the darker tones coming up again but where you'll notice if you kind of blend a little bit they won't look so like they stand out like a sore thumb what they'll end up doing is just blending amongst the fur so you'll have the fur and then you'll have these little tiny lines take care Corolla Have a good weekend. Yes, Vic and Swish. I've been watching them, haven't I, Andrew, during the week? Oh. The Harry Potters. Because I've got yeah. the Harry Potter channel. Yeah, it seems like they're it's on. always on. <laughs> they are. They're like forever on a loop. It's driving me insane. <laughs> Andrew's not a Harry Potter person. I know, I know. Send him to the dungeons. He, um, he's not a Harry Potter person. How on earth we are together, I do not know. That's just tragic. Well, you're not a Rocky or a Rambo or a Terminator. Hey, I thing. liked Rambo. No, I don't like Terminator. Oh, I did like Rambo, though. We watched a new Rambo the other day. I got it for him on digital copy and the DVD comes in a post. You can do it on something called Sky here in the UK. And I watched that. I did enjoy that. I'm not a Rambo 1, 2 and 3. Is that the first three? Yeah. I don't like them. Sorry. I love Stallone. I just don't like those three. But the last two were good. I <laughs> Everybody. Hi Andrea, how are you? I love Harry Potter. Yes, there's a Harry Potter channel at the moment. It is called, um, I think it's Harry, it's Sky Cinema Harry Potter, I'm pretty sure. And they're like on loop. So I've been watching them when they're on. I just stick them on. And then I downloaded them just for fun. Oh. <laughs> uh, I love that. I went to the Warner Brothers. It's amazing. <laughs> I know. Tell him. Well, I'm now going to get him to do that one, Vicky, and the baby channels because I'm on a mission now. <laughs> I say that with the devil in my eye. Yeah, she said you should be watching the jewellery channels. And that, Andrew. And it, and it. Jewellery channels? Yeah. Or taking those two feet to one, to a jewellery store. You know. You know how it goes. Well, you don't, because it would have happened by now, but you should do. But it will happen in good time. I, I believe things happen when they're ready. Although, seeing a little baby be born yesterday, it's like, yep, ah, Andrew. <laughs> I just said I should just put a... Comp Sorry, Mum. Mum, are you still here? Are you still here, Mum? This is why I mean this is an adult channel. If you are a child, I just cover your ears. But I, I said to someone earlier, <laughs> I just need a conveyor belt from the door, the front door, that leads you straight into the bedroom as a baby-making machine at the minute. That just, like, travel you in. Just straight in there. Just all the way from there. That's why I said, Mum, don't listen. It's like, you used to slide, I'll show you the gift. It's like a man's on a conveyor belt and he's coming. I was like, just straight to the bedroom. 
<laughs> just make a baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I was like, how else can it be done? I'm not the aunt like Mary where an angel comes and gives me one. Yeah, so when you get in from work, it's like zoom straight in there. <laughs> It's all right. Mum doesn't mind that because if she gets a grandbaby out of it one day, she'll be like, it's fine. I can sit and listen to that. <laughs> oh, dearie me. But yeah. Cover your ears, kids. Cover your ears. I didn't say anything mad. It's the birds and the bees. <coughs> I know. <laughs> I know, it's gone very quiet. It's gone very quiet. They talked to me. Yeah, they said your speech just. I said, I know, you've gone very quiet. I, I don't think we'd have this sort of conversation live on camera. <laughs> no, it's just it's a joke, Andrew, anyway. I'm not going to buy a bloody conveyor belt that takes you all the way, am I? What kind of person does that? Oh, ha. I'm sure there's someone in the world that might. <laughs> I remember you telling us that story, Jen. <laughs> and there'll be me, like, jumping up and down for joy. And then you, your poor Frank. <laughs> oh, no, my gosh, Michelle, no way. Where do you live, Michelle? That would be me. I'd get on a plane and, and emigrate somewhere else. I do not like snakes. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, and then he came along and your life changed. Oh, okay. So you're in the middle of somewhere that has them. <laughs> She's got a cobra on her deck. She lives in Botswana. I know, can you imagine? I'd be out of the house, or out of the garden, out of the... I'm all right with snakes. Oh, no, no. Okay, it's gone to Lever. KP, hey! Can you see where I'm just blending that out a little bit? So where I've done the fur to make all those little lines blend in, we're just going to add just a hint of that, because it will blend. And I'm going to do it on that side, because I've got those ones to do as well. How are you, KP? God, KP just missed the conveyor belt chat. She's going to be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. oh, do you know, these are just, I had to stick something on because my nails are terribly in a terrible state, KP. Terrible, you'd be ashamed of me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I, I, we've, we've driven Andrew away. Okay, suede. And now it's the colour that we were back in. I'm just going to sort of... Like, we've got a border here, so it's half a lion. Okay. We're, are you all right there, guys? I, and I can move on to something else. I'll do the eye soon, because that's just going to be a repeat of there. Um, we'll do some of the hair. I'll do the nose and the eye. And that'll just be literally a repeat. But if you want me to carry on, I'll do it all. Um, I don't want to bore you. Okay. So that kind of just blends. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Charlotte, he's gone. <laughs> I didn't actually say anything though. I could be putting a conveyor belt in there so he goes to sleep, Lozzie. <laughs> Okay, I just need to blend that bit because it's not, it's a bit line, it's got like a lot of a line effect. Um, there we go. Okay, much better. Much better. So if I zoom out, look, it's coming alive now. So it's a really nice tone. As you head, I just need to get that on there. <laughs> no, he's got to go have a quick shower before he goes back out. Okay, um, olive brown comes in because we didn't do it on this side. Now, these, these tiny little hairs, 
Did you hear? I don't think we'll be having this conversation live on air. <laughs> uh, well, he knows how, like, <laughs> I'm so random. Oh, bless him, I keep him on his toes. He's so quiet and, like, reserved, and I'm total opposite. I'm not quiet. I'm reserved, but not quiet. Not at all. Things come out of my mouth, and then I think, okay, did I just really say that? Mum knows. Mum wanted a quiet child and she got someone totally different. <laughs> I think we, yeah, we damaged him, we damaged him. Come back. <laughs> okay, can you see like this beautiful colour? Oh my gosh, I love it. Beautiful colour. Okay, so we're just going to put a little bit more of it in here. I'm loving this tone. Okay, if you want my top tone for, an, for a lion, it's this one. Is he? Yeah, Andrew is. He's very quiet, reserved, but he's a protector. I call him my protector. He's my security blanket kind of thing. Um, he'd do anything. And he, you get him out of his shell, he's very funny, but he's very quiet. And, yeah, I like it that way. I don't think I'd want a Jack the Lad, like a, oh, yeah, let's go down the pub. I don't like it. It's just not for me. I'm not that way. <laughs> <laughs> not like there's anything wrong with that. This is not for me. <laughs> I'm going to get down the pub for what? A drink? Nah. They sell, they serve um, coffee. Then I'll be there. <laughs> Should we go find him? <laughs> we'll put a search party out. <laughs> Okay, circular motions. Um, let's just build that a little bit. Okay, I'm really liking that tone. Let's look at the nose, bear with me. So, Andrew, yeah. can I just borrow your phone a minute just to show a reference picture because I'm using my phone to, to stream. Yeah, I just quickly need it. I just I need to go and Google. Ta. Where is it? Okay, lion. Oops, no. See what I'm like with these. I can't type. Lion fur. No, I don't want to look at it on cope. Lion lion mane. I'll do lion mane. Okay, images. Oh, that one's beautiful. I'm going to download that one. So, yeah. Um, you're going to have some random lion pictures on your thing for a bit. But I need them, don't delete them. Ah, someone's put like a dog. Oh, bless. Can you see that? <laughs> okay. So I'm kind of just looking at lion pictures at a second. And, and this one tickles my fancy. Can you see that? That's got some like yellow tones though, so I might have to introduce some of that. But look, that is gorgeous. Um, so I've downloaded that one. And look at these colours. Uh, these are stunning. Oh my gosh. Okay, that one as well. Oh my, this one's like King of the Jungle. Can you see that one? So nice. I love it. Okay, so if we look at like a side by side, mine's lighter, but there is lighter tone, like sandy color. They've got sandy ones. You've got different colors, so there's no right or wrong. You can put black. Oh, look. They've got ones with like a lot of, oh, this way, Sam, that way. Black. There's lots of different tones. So we're gonna put in some darker tones into the main, which was my plan anyway. Or we could just go for that option. Um, but there is loads and loads and loads and loads. Now, I'm thinking along the lines of the one that I showed. Oh, that one's perfect. That's the colors that we're doing. But we need an eye. So we're gonna look at a lion eye. And they've got 
this kind of can you see that it's like um it's like amber liquid amber donna jen thank you so much for coming love hugs and i'll see you soon have a great weekend enjoy your reading as well and big hugs to emilio hope wish him well wish him better okay so we're gonna go for something like that now there is like this oh that one's better we'll go for that one so we've got more of a tone at the top and we go to a lighter tone at the bottom so already i can see it's actually colors that we've pretty much used um so we're gonna go for that and we're gonna go for a we're gonna have to mix because it's got like a dark tan and i'm gonna say a cinnamon these two might get this and this one okay so we're gonna go for a few tones that we've already used and we're gonna try that so i'm not gonna be exact you know let's face it but i'm just gonna use that as a reference picture so with the eye, I'm going to start off with cinnamon at the very top and it is going to be a very light coating, not an overload. So I'm just going to put that on my phone in front of me, well Andrew's phone in front of me, you can put it on charge after. So we're just going to go for a touch of this in the top. So you see where we've got the dark parts, we're going to go for the dark. Now we're not going to go too much. I've got this really like amber colored eye so we're just going to go around and take you in a little bit so just a touch but i'm just going to bring some of that into these little sections as well right then we've got I'm just going to look at my reference. We've got olive brown again. This, now, this is a really good colour. Hey! Hi, Lulu. Hi, Helly. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Okay, so we've got this really nice sort of liquid amber colour coming down. Now, there it seems to be a more of an orange tone up there and more of a yellow tone down here. So we're going to go, don't worry, we'll reapply any white. Um, we're gonna go for some here and just add hints in now there is a mixture the good thing is there's no one color we can mix now there is a slight like carry tone in there so I'm only gonna go very lightly with this hi everyone coming on in I will have a look in a second I'm just um just using my reference picture a second just to have a look now it's a slight carrot tone but it seems more on this side so we're going to add a touch of it in there and tone it down with our olive brown and don't forget the the carrot isn't like the ultimate color we've just got to mix it a little bit and then we're gonna bring in hold on oops this bit's going to be our lightest So we're just going to add hints of, mm, what are we going to use? Rust, suede, suede. suede. Take care, honey. Wish you better. Speak to you later. Um, suede is going to go on the underneath. This is our lightest colour down here. And then we've got to just bring in a darker tone at the top, right? So, we've got our base things going, we'll work on top. If I take that out a minute, and you look, it's same sort of colours, now we just got to work on it a tiny bit more. So, with that, we're just going to go back to cinnamon and go very lightly now. So, a very light approach on your pressure. Um, where did I put that? That's what I say, just things go missing. In the front of my eyes. Thank you. Okay. Very light approach, very sharp pencil. Hi, Robin. Hi, everyone coming on in. Right, we ready? So, this part is the part that's going to have... Why I say sharp pencil is because you can get the lines that you otherwise probably couldn't get if it wasn't sharp. So just nice like 
very fine, very light lines that you'll be able to see when you look at your picture. And then <clears throat> you're just going to play on the tone now. Play on the colours that you've got in front of you, don't be afraid to. If it goes wrong, you know you've got an eraser, you can start again. It's because you're not going heavy handed, it's not cemented in, it's not a marker. You can go again, there's nothing like to scare you. I'm just going with the colours that were handed. So it's got this really nice gorgeous tone at the top. And as I said, we're using Black Widows for anyone coming on in. Oh, thank you. I'm just so like, I, I don't, I'm trying not to use too much of the reference because otherwise I'll, I'll get like, oh, too caught up in it has to be the exact. It's not, it's just using that as your inspiration. So just remember your colours are just very similar to all the colours that's in him. And then we're going to use all of that to go darker, which we might actually use a micron pen or... If anyone's got the Faber Castell pit pens, they work really well. We might grab one of those. Okay, so the top of it is our darkest. Yeah, we've mixed in a little bit of orange. Actually, what is a nice tone, I can find it. Pumpkin orange would have been good here, see? My pumpkin orange is amazing. <laughs> I love my pumpkin. Um, Where's that kind of gone? You know when you're just looking for something and you really are completely frazzled to where it's gone there it is <laughs> oh me too i love the pit pens um they are amazing for detail i use some watercolor details and uh i went in after once the watercolor was dry and added all bits in and i was like who knew that you can use this for all these things that like, we've got these supplies they can be used but until i find out what i can use them on i they sit there which is tragic <laughs> Magic. Okay, so we need now, I'm going to zoom out a sec. Um, I keep forgetting Andrew's phone's got a home button and mine doesn't. He's got this really thick like licorice, it's like licorice. I'm going to get um, a Faber Castell pit pen. You can get any black wart base marker and I can't remember where I put them now. Just any water-based. So these are the pit pans, and you can get different sizes. They're really, really good. And um, you can get pretty much, that's the calligraphy one. This is extra small. You've got 0 0.5, which is usually what I grab if I want to do some detailing. Um, microns are great as well. There's the brush one, which is quite thick. Um, I have got a Tombow brush pen as well. I think the brush pens might be a bit too thick for what we're doing. So we'll go for, do you know what? We'll go for a 0 0.5 and a, um, a 0 0.7. They are, I'm not putting mortar on this one, but they are, they are. I just did it on that, you know, the after. Okay, I'm gonna go for a 0 0.5 to begin with. This is just a Faber-Castell pit pen. And to make your eye stand out with the lions, they do have this really deep, like licorice um, black around them. And it really does bring out that color in the eye. Now they have it all around and this part as well, but we might use a little bit as white. So just go, just be careful and go all the way around your eye and bring out all that color of black. <clears throat> We can go to a bigger brush after, but for now, just to be on the safe side, if you go small, to be careful, you can build up. So we're going to do that into this part of the eye, the pupil. You see, it just brings it out a little bit more. And then we're going to go on the underneath. Okay, so fill all that detail in. We have this really thick line. And sort of, I'm going to bring now, I'm going to go 0 0.7, I'm just going to go a tad bigger. Just to bring that 
so it's down there. Now, you can get a pencil after if you want to, if you don't feel comfortable doing that part. I'm just going quiet because I'm in concentration mode, but yeah, just it just brings the eye out a little bit more, so you've got a little bit of a thicker. bring that up. I'm just looking at the eye, hold on. These are water based. Oh, they're India ink, aren't they? So it is really like just around this part of the eye especially. So just really deep and accentuate that dark. Okay, perfect. Now, let that dry a little bit and get your Posca after. You just bring that out. <laughs> Laura, it's, it's a hobby. <laughs> I use them as detailing. Um, I don't use them for drawing because I'm not that stage, but I do use them for detailing quite a lot. Okay, so just with your white Posca, get it going. Okay, I'm just going to bring out the white a little bit just a touch and then there's like just a tiny little on that part I don't want I really don't want to add too much detailing it just is enough for me now when you're coming down to this part as well just got my 0 0.5 a minute you can just bring that out make sure that that is just dark and again we're not putting any water on this so this is your just your detail you can just make these parts stand out a little bit I remember when I did my lion watercolor painting I had to do all this black detailing after and uh, I got a bit lost on where I was going and what I was doing. This just seemed to be like forever lines going on and the end result was just like all over. It had bits and black and there was just bits all over and I was like, oh my gosh, where am I going? It was fun. <laughs> You're thinking like, where's my lines going? But I think drawing kind of gives it where you're off to with it all. Okay. So just bring out all that deep, they've got a real dark, it's like, it reminds me of licorice on these, and especially sort of around. Just like that. And it just really brings that part out. Now, we'll, we'll focus on this part of the hair and I'm literally gonna symmetrical that. <laughs> so with this hair I'm going to come out a little bit right with the hair and the mane we're going to keep it lighter on that we've put our dark parts in we can put some dark dark after so we're going to head towards our olive brown again I think it's just the perfect colour for this um, so leather olive brown, those sort of tones, those really nice gold tones are what we really want. Olive gold, olive brown, either, but I'm just going to say olive brown is going to probably be my choice. Got to find it now. Okay, so just be sure that everything's dry here. Okay, so we're going to bring all these tones in now. Now his hair is going to slightly overlap hers. So when we come to do her, I have to kind of go around that a little bit. But that's okay because his hair does come, look, it's got these bits and hers will have to sort of go through and weave in and out like a, we're ducking and diving in his hair a little bit, but you know, that'll be fine. So we're just going to focus on this area for a second. So we've got to put a few tones coming in. 
so all this part and just follow those beautiful main colours and there's like all these different directions he's got this gorgeous mane so just can you see it's just really going to be gorgeous <gasps> yeah, right. Yes, Mum, I'm working on it. Conveyor belt, if you want anything to buy me. Buy me a conveyor belt, Mum. Andrew's got his vehicles big enough to take it. Okay. Now, sigh, lion, sigh. What's the matter? <laughs> Okay, cinnamon. Okay, next. That was a big sigh. <laughs> I just looked up and I read that. What's the matter? <laughs> right. We need to make some lighter colours, so we're just going to add. Can you see it in your screens, okay? Yeah. And then let's get some leather. It's going to be my next colour because it's a bit lighter. Leather and suede, I think I'm going to head towards. And let's find leather. That gives me a chill in there as well. Okay, leather, where are you at? Leather, leather, leather. There we go. Okay, just need to make it. Oh, nice. Take care, Amanda. Have a good day. Right, so, with leather, I'm just going to um, bring those into that lovely. The lighter we go, we'll fill in the spaces with the lightest, but we're going to bring out all those really nice sort of golden tones first and then you can always layer up and layer in if you need to I think he's pretty much doing the job on his own with his lovely fur okay so let's bring some of that in so with all this sort of grayscale as well you can sort of cancel it out a little bit there might be some that does show through but there won't, it shouldn't be too much. I mean, that's just the drawing lines, you know. If you were doing this on your own and you wanted to lighten it up and print it out a bit lighter, you might want to take those dark. But it is it is grayscale, so you are going to see some of those lines, but that's okay. Work with it. Use it in your purpose, though. It's just, it's, it's lines, it's drawing. I know it bothers some people, but I think you can't cancel out every single grayscale line that you have on your page it's just impossible unless you lighten it on your computer somehow or you take it to the printer shop and ask it to be printed out and lightened you know i think that's why laura sort of offers when she does her pdf she offers lighter grayscale darker gray it's so that or lighter lines darker lines it's so that not everybody likes the dark but if it is in your book don't let it put you off because it really does work in your favor sometimes I think. Um, I'm going to keep her quite tribal. She's going to have dark hair. Take care, Amanda. Yeah, because on this, it's easier to do the strands for me. You could do it completely the different, you know, a different way, Bella. If you wanted to go with a base tone, I'll go with your lightest that you really wanted to see. So just to show you, we'll do this little section here, right? So if we went for suede, you could put that in first. It would work both ways. Um, you don't have to do the strands, but if you notice, there's going to be a lot of areas that's got like white space as well that you might have wanted to keep as a bit of a white space because it's like strands and it's not completely all together. And I think that's harder when you do a base coat, but you can on the edge here. So, you know, there's not gonna be any reason why you can't put a base on that part, but 
I think as you come out, they're sort of on their own and spraying out on their own. Now, this, this part is white space, right? So I think it's a lot easier for me to do this as just strands rather than block color and then strands because there is a lot of spaces in between that are white space. They're like the air, they're the background. They're not part of his mane. Whereas here you can go in and fill in with your lightest color without taking out all your strands that you've worked hard on, fine. But I think if you're gonna do it, just try to, he's just making sounds. <clears throat> just constant sounds it's it, it just yeah there's no point um so you can do both you can block color the edge if you want to and then as you're coming out just be aware that a lot of that is background um so you can bring it up to a point bella and then here stop because then you'll notice that a lot of this is actual background it's not his strands unless you wanted to make it so just do more towards this area and as you come up, stop. But you'll notice in a minute what I was gonna do is bring dark ones in because I was gonna bring up mud. If I find it, if I find it. Um, and I'm just gonna um, very lightly bring that in because we're gonna have quite a strong mane at the base and then we're gonna branch out. So, when I was looking at the main there, we've got lots of different colors going on. So we can sort of lightly base. And you can see I've got all my strands still. None of that has gone. So you can just do it from the bottom, work your way up. So I'm just gonna flip between mud and olive, olive brown. But it's optional. You can do it either or. There's no wrong, whatever you, I think we all find our flow and all find our way with things. And I just, I personally really like doing strands. I just find something quite therapeutic about it. Although at this part, I am going to do like a bit of a block um, because there isn't much separation at this front part at all. It's like thick and colourful and bold. And then it goes into more of a strand at the top. So just kind of work with it. I think it really, it really is optional. But just be aware that at the top there is background um, in between all of that hair. So you'd have to stop with your color at a certain point. But at this part, we're gonna make it nice and thick and really bold. And we've got to layer more and more and more color in. Laura's always drawing. She's always got a project. Always got a project. I don't think Laura and no drawing just wouldn't. Yeah, no, that sentence doesn't go right, does it? <laughs> it just doesn't work. Okay, so we're just gonna thickly put that in. I need some orange. So I'm gonna use carrot, but I'm gonna go very, very lightly on this. And again, this isn't gonna be like my most drawn to color it's just going to add a little bit of that orange tone into it just because that part is going to have some and i might put a little bit come in sort of down into these ones so we'll go from there follow very lightly that particular bunch of strands which comes down to here so we'll just sort of place some of that orange so we know where those tones are so we'll add a tiny little bit as well. So yeah, it's really just playing around with it. I love it. Like this part for me is the fun part because you can see his like mane's coming to life. Now, I think cinnamon's gonna be my next color just because I really like cinnamon. And I think it really goes well with half of this that we're doing. So I'm just gonna block some of that in at the bottom where it's gonna be the thickest and the fullest of his mane. So certain areas are gonna be darker, like here, so I'm gonna really sort of play on those hairs. Like that. And then just 
going to bring some of that deep into this area. So I'm just play on where's darkest as well. Just nice and slowly just work out your colour placement. Um, so this is really quite dark in my grayscale, so that might be the darkest areas that she's suggesting. But they are just suggesting, you know, this is pretty much at your discretion on what you would like to do with it. Can you believe I just mostly had cold drinks? It's unlike me, isn't it? I hate to ask the tea fairy to do tea. Oh my gosh, here we go again. <laughs> I never find it and it's always there. Okay, and then just at the base of that to sort of build into those strands that I've just done, I'm just gonna put a little bit of this olive brown Hi Laura, Laura H. <laughs> We've got two Lauras, so I'm going to say Laura H. Okay, I'm just going to, um, if you bear with me a second, just so that I'm a little bit of a bird's eye view. Hold on, you're just going to go for a wiggle. There we go, sorry about that, I was just having a little wiggle around. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of used to it now. Um, it's funny because the things that used to daunt me in the beginning, Charlotte, is that less of a worry now. So um, I would have thought about that in the beginning, but I think because you kind of get into your flow with streaming and then I just remember it and then I'll go back after and I'll just quickly jot it down if I really need to. But I think I've remembered these colours because they're mostly just the dark skin tones. Um, I'm just going to turn the book slightly. They're just mostly your dark skin tones in the Black Widows. Okay, so we're just going to... And I'm the oddball that likes to really know her pencils. <laughs> like, I will really... If I get favourites, it's just like I go to. And I love the Black Widow skin tone set, the dark one. Oh my gosh, I love them. Yeah, you're Lossie. <laughs> hey, Shelley, how are you doing? Yeah, you're Lossie. I know it's, yeah, your, your name suits you as Lossie. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go for dark chocolate in the Scorpios or Scorpions. We had some exciting update in Laura's stream um, when she used them that Albert, who is the Black Widow creator, informed us that there will be new colours coming out possibly in April and they will be um, all new colours. So that's really exciting and I'm looking forward to that. Right, dark chocolate is huge. Here. Oh, I love them, Charlotte. Try them out. They're just such, they're amazing pencils. Okay, we've got dark chocolate in the Scorpions, which is that just that bit deeper. What? Where is it? What, your phone? Oh, it's here. I don't need it anymore. I was using it for the eye. Thanks. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to add some deeper deeper browns and we've got to build up uh, there is actually some blacks in their main not much but it's like it's not black it's black um so we're going to add a little bit of that but i really want to kind of bring out this area here just at the top there's some really deep grayscale sections and they're like the darkest ones <laughs> cheers Come here, mister. Come on. It 
it is so stunning, Shelly, isn't it? I know, Grazie's done the most amazing job on this. It's amazing. And it's really funny because I bought as well and got the Coleridge Wild 4, which is also girls with animals. And I'm just as in love with that, but this is just amazing because it's A4 as well, it's grayscale and it's just incredible. And the paper is a dream. All right, so I'm just really deepening up this section here. There's like a strand that comes right across. <laughs> so just let your hand flow with like all these little bits. And there's some deep ones there. Now we've already put some deep sections in already, so we're just going over that. Can you see how like, it's so, it's like the wind's blowing and You've got all these just gorgeous tones going through there. And then we just, thank you. Um, one other colour that I wanted to get in there, didn't I? And that was Midnight, which is like a black. And it's in the skin tone dark set. And it is bordering a black. It's very dark. I will show you in a minute when I shall find it. And it's not hiding. And... It shall magically appear in my hand. No, we need mats at some point. This one maybe. Where is it? There it is. So midnight is black. Midnight black, you know. But yeah, it's not unsimilar. It's very similar, Lozzy. That's a good. Yeah, very very similar. Okay, midnight is like black. Um, it's just not as dark as like Prisma. Hey, Kiki me. <laughs> Thank you so much as well. Thank you ever so much. You did not have to do it. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Lots of love. Okay, so we've got midnight. And with the midnight, I'm just going to... I'm not going hard. I'm going very soft on my approach. And this is going to be to go into those very deep areas. Like... If I zoom just slightly out a little, and I just turn my book a bit, you know those areas that are super, super dark? Like that. So it's just a very soft and very gentle approach. And it's just going into some of that area, just like that. So if I zoom out on a hole, you'll be able to see how that's kind of going to main that that's kind of going to look on the main is going to have the deepest up here and then we're going to do all these like really nice sort of golden tones over there which could have actually a little bit this is where when you zoom out and have a look um you can see where you want extra tones going in so i'm going to put a little bit of carrot and that's going to go into not much and i'm like if i had a spare bit of paper near me have i got a spare bit of paper I did have, one second, I'll show you how light I'm going on my approach. Bear with me. Oops. Oh. Okay. So when I'm going with my pressures, harsh will be that. That's like, I'm not doing that. I'm not even doing that. When I'm going, I'm even going to that. These are the sort of, I would say sort of this range rather even than that. That's a bit too deep. Because when you're adding so soft, when you're then integrating it into other colours, say this one, can you see it sort of mingles? If you try to do that one, that's just overriding everything, that orange. It's barely, that's harder. This mingles, so you can always sort of build a little bit more and then add something else in. And they those like blend. It's harder to blend the harder you go. So just make sure that your approach on things, even with the black or the midnight black, it's that. Because, again, see how hard it is. 
try and lessen your pressure and then you'll find that you'll build up a lot more. I'm just thinking that the flow of your hand, even if you just let your hand loose and just kind of like flow, it is really easy that way. I find it easier. <laughs> Just a really nice, loose hand, and it really is. It's just a case of loose approach. Just a nice, I'm barely touching, but that is really starting to mingle in with the other colours, and it might then even be more of like a an orange. Now, I really am tempted because, right, one of my favourite colours, or two of my favourite colours, is in the Prismas, but I won't, I'll use Black Widows. I really am tempted though. This colour, pumpkin orange, honestly, I could, it's just to die for, as is a Tuscan red. And those two colours combined could just be amazing in that hair. I'm trying not to. <laughs> I'm just trying so hard not to go to my pumpkin orange. It's like, oh, because I'm trying to make the colour a little bit more with um, the Black Widows. But oh my gosh, that pumpkin orange is cooling me. It's just like staring at me right now. And um, yeah, just a nice loose approach. And just bring that orange sort of flair to his hair. Ha <laughs> ha, did you like that, Ash? Did you like that? <laughs> Are you even listening at my yeah. joke? Oh, I said it will bring a nice orange flair to his hair. Mm -hmm. Rhyming. And rhyming. It's like an MC. You didn't even, you didn't even hear it. I had to like prompt you, you're lost in your phone. Me too. <laughs> okay, nice and loose. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap up in a minute. I will do his nose and then this is just gonna literally be symmetrical to what we did this side. We might have to. We might have to go to the pumpkin orange, but I will try so hard not to. Oh! Yes, I do! Is it really so... Laura, you're, you're just the best. <laughs> Is it really? Yes, I've got chestnut, and yes, we're going to it now. <laughs> we're going there. We're there. We're there. <laughs> we got it. Okay, I'm going to try that now. Oh, I love my tu my Tuscan and my pumpkin. Oh, they're like heaven in a pencil. My buff titanium as well, but yeah. Oh, rattlesnake as well. Okay, we can get these colours. Let's get the chestnut. Let's get the chestnut. Let's find it in our set. Okay, so we're at the set. My cards. Sorry, I'm just trying to find a card. I'll get there in the year 3000. It's funny. Was has anyone know busted? Does anyone know busted? I do, Kenny, but I don't have it on here. Um, but I do. Um. Oh, we found it. No, I haven't. I found rattlesnake. Oh my god, oh there it is. I found it! <laughs> oh I love them. Do you remember the year 3000? I just had that in my head. So they had three. I had a bra and three and uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's when I'll find my cards. Okay, carrot. I've just done chestnut. We're gonna try. We're gonna zoom in to see the magic of this now. Okay. Okay, it's so similar. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so if you're struggling with me and you wanted your pumpkin orange, chestnut is amazing. See, I never thought of that. Perfect. Oh, it's like heaven. Okay, I'm gonna have fun with this color. Look at that. Oh, I love it so much. 
Yeah, I like brown bark. Mine's halfway down. I do like that colour. Okay, so chestnut. We can actually add a touch of this as well. Laura's done her homework. Albert needs to, is it Albert? He needs to enrol you as one of their people. You know them inside out. Okay, I love that. Okay, I'm loving that colour. Welcome back, Connie. I saw them live doing that. I absolutely loved it. I love, love, love the video to it as well. Oh my gosh, I was a geek for them. And I'm going to see McFly. When is it, Andrew? May. May, yeah. I'm going to see my guys. After all these years, I used to always go watch them in concert and Andrew did that and I can't wait for that. Who else are we gonna see? Coming up When's that? I never know when they are. April or May. April or May, we're going to see Guns N' Roses as well. So yeah, that'd be fun. <laughs> I love going to like, cool. I really like concerts and theatres. And we, oh, we went to see the Book of Mormon and oh my gosh, it's so inappropriate, but so funny. Oh, Kelly, you don't need to do anything, hun. It's not my colour and chat one because I just use PayPal like to pay. <laughs> Literally to pay. It's um it's not my hold on. It's not my colouring or anything. Hold on. I love Guns N' Roses as well from their old days. Andrew's seen them recently. Was it last year? Or the year before? It was something like that. And uh, they're back again and they come into London. And uh, yeah, it's in a football stadium, isn't it? Tottenham Hotspur football stadium. And yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. It's, uh, it's going to be cool. So yeah, I've got a couple of things to look forward to. I think it's always good to look forward to something. You know, you don't have to be a music person, or you don't, but just have something of your interest to kind of look forward to is really cool. I'm really liking that. So we've just got really, really like that. That's a nice colour. Right, can you see those tones? Okay. Oh no, we zoomed you back in. There we go. I'm not used to my phone. Hold on. Can you see all those colours in this lion? So we've got his nose. What colour's their nose? Andrew, what colour's a lion's nose? Dark brown, isn't it? Is it dark brown? I'm going to look on Bing. I thought it had a pinky complexion. No, no, it's like sand. Oh, it has got slight pink. Um, let's look at that one. It's got slight pinky in the middle. I say rust is a good one for that. So rust is more, and then we've got dark tan. And then they've got like a tiny peach, like eggshell or murk. Merc and we'll get eggshells. So yeah, they have got a slight we'll go lightest to darkest, so we'll go very light into the middle. Um hi, you're welcome back, Bo. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go for Merc, I believe, first. No, we'll go for eggshell. Just ignore me. I'm just thinking out loud. We'll go for eggshell first. Oh, I can't even zoom in. I'm all like, there we go. Um, so in the very middle, it's the lightest time. We'll go from light to dark. We've got like a tiny little sort of off pink. It's very subtle. Okay, so that's just the very, very middle. And then I'm gonna go to, um, Oh, rust. I'm gonna go to rust. We've got to build our black in there as well, which will be midnight. I'll see you later. Uh, Love you. Okay, we'll put 
put that in. And then we've got like a, ooh, um, a brown, like a dark tan. Um, where's that one? Okay. Oh, you're so sweet, Laura. Laura's doing a conversion chart. <laughs> That's okay. The lady super takes the money, hun, to do that. That's fine, Kenny. I'm going to get that as soon as the money comes through next, next month. Yeah. It's just exactly the same one that I had before. It's just this one. The sound has all gone on it. It's got issues on it. I, I don't know. They don't last forever. Uh, how many is DD on? Like four? Number four or five? But they're brilliant for what they do, you know? So, you don't you go worrying, Kenny. Honestly, thank you. <laughs> I'll get it. Okay. We're doing this dark tan. And this in the scorpion. Okay, and then I've got leather, and that's going to be my last colour, and we'll sort of merge it all together. Um, so where's leather gone? Leather is here, and that will be our last one. So these are the colours that I'm seeing on my screen, on my reference picture, roughly. And then we've got, like, dark in here, so we come to midnight last. So we've got, like, a brown to, like, a peach to, like, a pink-ish. That's kind of like what I'm looking at on my screen right now. So we've used, um, we've used these. It kind of just works. Leather, dark tan, rust, and eggshell. Now, we'll go back to rust. Um... I'm going to just pop a little bit in. Okay. And then I'm going to um, get Midnight. And I'm going to try my hardest to keep the original sort of look about it. has coming round there we go sort of like can you we zoom out a little he's all coming together and like his mane's all come together so this part underneath has to be deeper so straight off the back we're looking at you know cinnamon and things so because it's very deep and dark there isn't it so we do all the detail in the stuff on screen. I'll just, I'll do the symmetrical that side. So straight away, I'm just gonna go for cinnamon. I'm just gonna bring um, this sort of in and down. Okay. So this is going to be deep on the underneath. Now don't lose all these little wisps of hair that we've got coming from his little mouth, his beard. <laughs> I love his beard. His beard is so cute. <laughs> um, so leave his beard hair. Leave the beard hair alone. And just kind of play with deep areas going into light. So this bit all here is quite dark. So. I'm just going to put a very, very light coating at the bottom of cinnamon and I'm going to bring in the olive, olive brown. Yep. So just a hint of it, right? So it will be all symmetrical, so I'm saying I'm just going to show you my method and then we can pick up on this next time. We'll leave all the detailing until, um, there we go. We'll leave all the detailing until the next stream, like with the white Posca and, you know, bringing in all that white. We've got loomy white that we might need to head to or something. We'll have a little fiddle around and we'll do start on the lady. But this will take about three to four streams. So, and I'll do a speed colouring of it as well when it's all done. So let's bring... All those little wispy hairs 
So keep that nice and light bit there of his beard. And where it's got super light, that's gonna be white. So you can actually head that in with the Posca now. So you can just get your sort of, you can get it started for yourself, right? So you know where you're heading when we come back. So just plan out where you're gonna have your white. So it's a really light tone there. But there's some really light tones here. Can you see where they are? So just plan them out with your white for yourself. So So we know where we're gonna go. I love this lion. He is a handsome fellow. I think she's drawn this amazingly like that. So just plan it out. And that has already set you up on the right path so that when you bring all these little tiny ones in, dodge that part because you want that white. That's her hair, so be careful of that. It's like this part's gonna weave a little bit. So we're weaving in and out of where we're heading with our colour. So again, weave, go through. We've got hit white, come through. And everywhere that you know there's meant to be white because you've already got the indication with her illustration, just weave in, especially coming through. That's her hair, be careful. And there we go, that's how it's gonna go. So just bring in those colours, we'll deepen it up. And I think you'll kind of really all go together. Um, I think I'm zoomed out. Hold on. Let's just make sure. Yeah, I am. Okay, I'll just bring you up a little bit. So that is how he is going to look. So next time I do come back, I am going to symmetrical that part. So if you've done this part, do that part too. So like you, when you're going to colour this, anytime you lay down some colour there, lay it there as well. So you don't have to go like right over after. You can kind of like symmetrical at the same time. And as you do this part down here, Remember, she has really bought all these nice wisps down for you already. So you can already put your white in just to make sure that you don't go, you know, ahead of yourself and, and really store, just put all these funky colours in. It's, you're going to have to erase them. So just kind of bring all these wisps down and then just, as I said, with your other colour. So I'm going to go for my olive brown for a second just to just demonstrate. When you're gonna to come to the white, just dodge the white and bring, come to here, carry it on. Same with this part, come to here, carry it on. Sorry if my mouth is close to the camera, I'm standing up. Um, so I'm gonna bring like these bits here, bring that down. Bring that here, bring, stop, carry on, stop, carry on. It's quite a long process, but it really does work. So yeah, that part is gonna be a little bit deeper, so I'm gonna just stick with the cinnamon and olive brown for now, bring the whites, and I'm just gonna just quite literally symmetrical that side. So that when we come back next time, we can put the details in on him and start her, and then she will be, um, yeah, she'll be good to go on the next stream, I reckon. I won't be here on Tuesday, I'm at the hospital having my back done. Um, and I will be here on next Saturday. I'll try and, if I'm not feeling too crappy and I'm not being amazingly dumbstruck with love over another baby, <laughs> I hope to be here on Thursday because I am a birthing partner uh, to Vicky <laughs> next week again. <laughs> I'm like, two babies in one week. I can't cope. <laughs> Um, but I've really enjoyed uh, having and spending some time with you. Thank you so much, you lovely, beautiful people who super chat. You do not have to do that. I say that to you all the time. I'm here for fun. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to leave it there for today. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll see you on um, Thursday at some point. Hopefully. If not, Saturday. Saturday is Chinese New Year. So, come join us. And I will put up the details in the week. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. You're so amazing. Lots of love. I'll see you all very shortly, very soon. Have an amazing weekend. Take care, everyone.